And this is where Britain's top commentators speak out on controversial issues without the fear of the cancel culture sweeping the rest of the media. Now, Gary Lineker's agent published a snivelling column yesterday defending the disgraced BBC presenter over his disgusting Nazi barb, and of all places, you guessed it, uh, the lefty rag, the new statesman. And he shockingly revealed that Gobby Gary had a, quote, special agreement with the BBC, Director General Tim Davey, to tweet about refugees and migration because of his passionate interest in the issue. But what I want to know is why we weren't told about this secret deal between Lineker and the BBC's DG. Surely, surely this revelation now makes Tim Davies' position at the Beeb untenable. Well, joining me tonight to discuss this former editor of The Sun, Calvin McKenzie. Calvin, dodgy deals made behind closed doors between the BBC boss and its biggest presenter. Can you believe this is how our state broadcaster is being run? No, it's shocking, and it also makes him a complete idiot, Davy. Because in the end of the day, he also um, uh, also uh, stood um, Lineker down. But this appears to be happening all over the place. I, I mean, there was a guy on um, on the media show on on Radio Four today who was who a uh, senior BBC guy saying this kind of arrangement goes on all all over the place. It goes on with Alan Sugar, by the way, who. who right now is not allowed to say anything because he's on The Apprentice, but he is allowed to say political stuff. And there is literally an agreement between everybody. What is going on? So, so you've got this great panjandrum, the director general walking around and say, yes, you can talk about refugees. You over there can talk about trans. Uh, over there, nothing to labor from you. It is ludicrous. And actually the reality is we are shareholders. It's our money. Nobody has the right to hand out political patronage on certain subjects. And I, I give it to Lineker, right? He, all he's saying is, actually, I know John Holmes, right? That, what That's, the what he writes That's the agent. That's the agent. will be 100% the agent, right? What, what he writes will turn out to be 101% true, right? He is a very clever, rather straightforward agent, actually, bizarrely. But so, There's not many um, of those. <laughs> No, no, you're quite right. You know, you won't you won't find him on uh, housing benefit having been uh, having been uh, Lineker's agent now for I'm just trying to work out 42 years. Oh, so wow. you know, wow. he, he but these He's are extraordinary things, and he mm. he did say to them, he did say to them, if you suspend him, there will be nothing but trouble about all this. So he was right about that as well. But why would Davy do that, knowing that he had given this undertaking? to Lineker in the first race, what right has the Director General to say to his freelance staffs, or if HMRC have their way, employed staff, you can say this, but you can't say that. Or if you're not in the, in the golden and gilded circle within the BBC, uh, you're done for. You know, uh, it, it is this kind of patronage which is completely wrong and makes, my view, Davy completely the wrong man to lead this corporation. We need somebody who is used to actually saying, this is what we're going to do and go ahead and do it. And what we have in Davy is somebody who actually bends at the knee depending on how famous or yeah. how much use you are to the BBC. And that is absolutely wrong. I'm not in favor of Alan Sugar being given any rights either. I'm sure there's lots of people who could do The Apprentice just as well as uh, as uh, Alan Sugar. I've got nothing against him. I am against the idea that people are that there is a director general of our country on three billion of our revenues going round to people and saying you can say this, you can't say that. It's ridiculous. Exactly. exactly. You want to work for the BBC, uh, you can't express your political opinions. It's as basic as that. But what I find so naive here from Tim Davey is that he thought, oh, it's OK to, to let Lineker tweet about migration because he's passionate about it. Calvin, it's possibly the most divisive political issue of the decade. It may well yeah. determine uh, who wins the next general election. The bloke must be stupid. I, I think he, he is he's clearly out of his depth. After all, he was considered a safe pair of hands because he came yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. commercial side of the BBC. Actually, he's turned out to be an unsafe pair of hands. And what also worries me 
is there must have been colleagues. In fact, I know there's colleagues because because on the on the media show today, the guy admitted it. Right. There must be there are colleagues out there who all know that these undertakings and these gifts from above have been handed out. So there's there's a kind of there's a kind of mafia running the thing saying, do you think you ought to be able to say to uh, Emily Maitlis, let her talk about that issue involving her trees being cut down in her road? She feels very strongly about it. Or or uh, or the Lineker position. Lineker is a disaster for the BBC. It's disaster for people like you and I and for a lot of the country. And and Davy was responsible for it. The yeah, fact that Lineker feels Davey strongly said, about something, so what? Yeah. We all feel strongly about something. But the but the difference is ordinary people are not paying your wages or mine. 